am Jason. So now, here's the story of me, Jason. It all started a little while ago when I was a young boy and I helped Hera cross a river. Hera is a goddess, which was good for me because she told me that I should go to my cousin Pelias, who is ruling a kingdom, actually my kingdom, and demand it. He said if I could go off and retrieve the golden fleece, I would get it. And that's when things started to go horribly wrong. We got Hercules on the ship called the Urga, along with many other Greek heroes. We sailed and had many adventures, including killing our friends by accident because we thought they were giant ogres. That set us back a little while. And going on, we found a blind man named Phineas, who told us to sail through the crashing cliffs. These. Yeah, um, they clash together a lot, hence the name. We just about made it. We then met with King, with King Ates. This man here. He told us that if I could do certain tasks, I would be worthy enough to get the Golden Fleece. It was hopeless for me because I had to plow a field with bulls that breathe fire, plant dragon teeth, and then fight skeletons that rise out of it. Luckily, thanks to Hera and Aphrodite, the Princess Medea fell in love with me, and she gave me a potion that would give me fire resistance and told me how to defeat the skeletons. Cast the rock into them, and they will fight among each other. That worked pretty well. It was me raising the skeletons, Okay, that was interesting. And now, here's what the skeletons did. Uh, uh, I, I didn't throw the stone. Um, he threw the stone. Yeah, him. <laughs>
But, uh, but you, you mean you've never seen the dragon that goes to go with fleece? It's kind of in your backyard. And uh, you seem pretty calm for seeing a dragon. Oh, I'd go use your sleeping potion or whatever and put that thing to sleep for whatever it is, 10 minutes, an hour. Just go do your thing. Well, good luck. Thanks, I guess. another scene from Jason and the Argonauts. Talos, a gigantic bronze man, fighting the Argonauts. But, as you can see here, he is hundreds of feet high. When, in the story of the one I fought, he was only eight feet tall. This was actually where people started to think of him as a giant monster, instead of a man made of bronze who was just a little bit taller than myself. I was able to defeat him by pulling a cork from his ankle, which made him bleed to death. I'm not really sure how a statue can bleed, but it was a long time ago. And I would like to say that the story ends here. We go off and I become king. However, that is far from the truth of what actually happened. When we returned home, Polis said that he would give us the kingdom as soon as Polis died. I was kind of angry about that, but I figured, well, I'm going to get the kingdom eventually. Medea, however, took the princesses into killing their father, saying that it will make him young again. We got chased out of the kingdom, and I was forced to marry another princess after some while. Medea did not like that, and she melted the princess with a burning dress, and she took out a sword and killed her children. She then forced me to leave, wander around for a while, and then I came back to where the Argo was landed. I walked around it, and it was very old, and it fell apart. Sadly, the headpiece fell and hit me on the head, breaking my neck, and I died. I really wish I had a happier ending than that, but that's up to the gods to decide. <laughs>